So we have ba 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 for example, five ton. I'm Steph. And I'm Pete. And that's our two-year-old son, Hayes. We were selected by Airbnb to travel the world for a year, calling a new destination home for a month at a time. Follow along. Hey, it's another day here in Bangkok. We are about to go and meet Esso, who's going to be our guide for a free walking tour of Bangkok. Well, my name is Esso. I work as a tourist in the tourist industry over 10 years. And now I run like a Bangkok free walk. All right, just for fun. It's my passion. And I hope you guys learn something with me for today. All right, all the best. Cheers. <laughs> We met up with Esso to start the tour and headed straight to a park and he asked us if we could look around and tell what the park used to be a really long time ago and it was actually one of the first prisons. It was a good place to start out because Hayes was full of energy so he loved running around in the sand and burning off some steam and it was set the tone for the tour because Esso was really patient with us having a two year old. Bangkok, you will see this one on the map. Then we walked to the giant swing. Any idea? What they doing with that? Or what is that? Which is a big kind of monument from the late uh, 1700s outside of a temple. Um, and it's a Brahmin structure and it used to be used in ceremonies. He showed us some old videos on his phone where they would kind of like use it as this slingshot of sorts and climb up with these teak poles trying to get gold coins um, if they succeeded. Many of them did not succeed. Since we were nearby a huge temple, uh, there was a series of shops that were all selling. Many of their basket with some dry food, snacks, and tea, coffee. And this all will be called an offering shop. This is the shop for the local. Came here, we buy some stuff and give it to the monks. Okay. My quiz for you guys is, what is that? Colorful. Yeah, you, you, you see that, right? Uh, for drinking colorful drinks. Very good, sir. Again, but no, you can say it's wrong. <laughs> You want a colorful cup? Yeah. <laughs> and burn. Oh. I was gonna guess that. <laughs> well, you should have yeah. guessed it. No, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? Uh, it turns out that they were uh, urns for people's um, ashes uh, after they passed away. In Thailand, uh, Thai people, mostly, when they death or when they pass away, their family will keep the body for funeral for several days and then last day they cremate the body but it's also different because in Thailand you can have a lot of people are Thai Chinese for example like me how my family do period but now they many people they start to do cremate you know to get more easier and more comfortable so then we kept walking and we walked down a street full of big massive gold buddhas and Esso explained that and do like send it here and then they're fixing this is where you kind of take your, your Buddhas to be repaired um, if you have a temple and you have a big Buddha structure and it needs, you know, some maintenance work. This was the street to come. This part of town was also the kind of characteristic old shop houses of Bangkok where you would typically have a restaurant or a shop downstairs and then the family would live above it. Esso told us about where he grew up in a different neighborhood in Bangkok. So my dad used the first floor for park the car. So, so on daytime when he worked, the first floor is like a living room and on the nighttime, it's like a car park. It's wow. like a gala, garage. Gosh. And the family live with 20 people. My grandpa, grandma, you know, when they all, they are only, you guys book only second floor and wow. all the kids of my auntie, upper. We then stopped and got some fried donuts and these came with a custard, which was flavored with a pandan leaf. It's made from pandan. I think you know pandan. Pandan is like a kind of leaf. Oh, right? cool. okay. This is the simile of the Thai Michelin, all right? So you can have Michelin, right? This is like the Thai style, right? Oh, and this is like a legend, one of the most legendary what Thai What do you call them donuts. in Thai? Uh, in Thai, we call Ba Thong Po. And it was so good. I love, that was exactly my kind of thing. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It wasn't too sweet. Um, and it was just a yeah, delicious sort of taste. Went really well with the donuts. Looking for it ever since, so. I it's not it. hard to find pandans everywhere here. No, I know, but that. That particular that pa We waited to eat it a little bit later where an Esso took us to one of the oldest ice cream parlors in Bangkok. I think he said it was like 80, 80 years old. 80 years old. Um, Hayes loved both the donuts, the custard, and the ice cream. Ice cream. So we got some uh, black sesame, uh, we got coconut, and uh, and we got coffee. 
on the way to the ice cream shop, um, Esso pointed out that like all the shop houses in this particular area kind of like match. They were all green and white, and that's because the royal family owns this area and then leases it out. So they apparently receive a little bit more money to maintain the houses, and that's why they were all kind of looking the same. Uh, the fact that I liked the most was the red satellite dishes that Esso pointed out. Uh, that are exclusively for Premier League football. <laughs> football? Satellite Premier League. <laughs> yes, that's what I want to know about. Okay. Well, you can see how, how so, famous maybe 40% of Thai people. So, so if I, in the apartment that we're staying at, if we have a red satellite, I'm in luck. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I can watch football all the you time. You can watch it. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have Our house doesn't have a red satellite dish, which is really annoying. We're walking in the direction of the Grand Palace, which means that we were seeing a lot of different moats. We were in kind of the inner circle moat, but then we came across a big pig memorial. What did he say the pig significance was? That. What the hell is that? <laughs> to do with someone in the royal family, it was, a, it was sort of like a, a, the wife. a wife's, it was a present to the wife or something like when that. When the pig was the, it was the year of the pig? Year of the pig. Somebody, if this Chinese is important, thing, chime in them. down below. But what I learned there is that there was parts of it that were covered in gold leaf, and he said when you're trying to like make something better or nicer. Thai people will, or, or more important kind of thing. Thai people like to put the gold leaf onto that. Oh, yeah. oh they, what to try and make it look more? Uh, 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 more better. Similar like I can't believe when Thai people like to put the gold leaf onto the body of the Buddha. It means if you want some part of your body better. For example, if you are maybe a politician, you put on the Buddha mouth. Also at this moment that haze spotted the beautiful moon up in the sky. Because I think when, when the kids, when the thief start to oh, come out, yeah, they yeah. like to... Yeah. 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 It's, it's not oh, you see bad. the moon. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Good spot, good spot Hayes. Oh, Next up was just kind of a random park, but it was a great opportunity for Hayes to jump out and stare at the fish and run around, wave to all the runners passing by, just a nice little break um, in a lovely park that we stumbled across. Then we walked in the outskirts of what whole uh, temple and uh, Esso had another quiz for us which was these uh, strange looking kind of stairs and um, wanted to know what they were. Uh, this is how you get onto your um, the elephants. <sighs> okay let's go which is the correct. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what? So you climb up the stairs it's like a little tower and then you get straight on the elephant. Stephanie was so surprised that I got this right. I wasn't my... surprised, Esso was surprised. Oh, okay, Esso was surprised. At Wat Po too, Esso was saying that he uh, loves when they make renovations to temples, which they've been doing a lot of during COVID. You see that they used the porcelain? Mm -hmm. uh, in the old days, like original porcelain, right? But nowadays they have, you know, they have the new one, yeah. put it on, and they're wow. quite a uh, detailed job. Because they actually take down the like old, Piece, ceramic pieces and glittery pieces and that and put back new things so it becomes really really shiny. And then the last stop on the tour was the flower market. <laughs> the flower market is open 24 hours a day. The most busiest time of this market is midnight until 4 in the morning okay. because they all like a wholesale. They are direct mostly from the north of Thailand. They leave the area from the early morning by the cap, you know, the big cap, and then transfer to this market on the evening. Flowers are super significant in Thailand. They're given for offerings, for gifts, all sorts of things. And this place has over 3,000 stalls, although Esso was saying that it's actually at about operating at about 30% less capacity. Nowadays, you can do online shopping. So many, many farms, for example, in the north, in the north of Thailand, they have their own, you know, Facebook page or whatever. You can sell stuff and then they're direct to the, to, the, to, the, to the people. Like it was so busy. So there was orchids, there were marigolds, people making flower garlands, just flowers everywhere uh, and a really cool place to walk around. And it smells amazing. We then finished the tour on the banks of the Chai... Chao Praia River. Chao Praia River. Um, it was beautiful with the sun setting, gorgeous, really beautiful lighting. Um, and Esso gave us the four tones in Thai. Um, five. Oh, sorry, gave us the five tones in Thai. <laughs> <laughs> so we have like, uh, Thai is a tonal language, as, as your guy heard. For example, if I say the word ba, ba is mean troll. You troll something, you ba, it's like verbal. And ba is mean forest. Ba is mean ant. 
Pa is like daddy. Papa and Pa is mean sugar daddy. Guys, I just quick got like a little souvenir made uh, from, I think it's like, uh, I forgot about it in English again. I didn't use English much for this time. Um, uh, Orchid. 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 Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have orchid with roses. Uh, Alright, and this stuff. They mix with uh, jasmine. Yeah. Alright, I think it smells good. Yeah. All the best, man. Thank, thank you. you so much. Oh, step, thank you. you. All the best. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for your tour. It You're welcome, brilliant. man. It was an awesome tour. So thank you so much. Super friendly guide. If you're in town, check it out. Bangkok free walk. I believe. I don't know. I'll stick it here. And they also recommended a place for us to go eat famous Pad Thai. So, if you want to see that, keep watching. Okay, so we asked uh, Esso where to eat after the tour, and he sent us here Tip Samai, which is famous. No, no, no. Sip, 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 sip. Which is very famous for Pad Thai. Um, you can tell that as soon as you walk in, there's all sorts of signs and newspaper articles and guidebooks all over the wall. Um, and that's about all I know right now, so I'll wait till our food comes and maybe tell you a little bit more. So SLR Guide said he actually thinks that the orange juice is even better than the Pad Thai, so. And I hope he's right, because we spent $5 on a big bottle of it. But it's got like big old chunky bits of orange in it, so, I mean, Hayes, is it good? Okay, so Pad Thai was invented during World War II when there was a rice shortage. So the Prime Minister wanted to create a national dish encouraging people to eat noodles and local ingredients domestic to Thailand. Okay. So Pad Thai was born and the family who owns this restaurant has been making it here for years and years and years. And the same Prime Minister declared it very authentic. Hayes is losing his mind. This restaurant, they're famous for a pad thai wrapped in a thin layer of egg and the chefs that work here have to practice for up to three months until they can do four pad thais in the span of 30 seconds. If you don't know, pad thai has prawns, tofu, garlic, egg, fish shots, chilies, palm sugar. Pad thai at this place has three signature ingredients, a special kind of noodle, a secret prawn oil recipe, and the omelette wrap. Mm. It's good, it's very, um, you really get that shrimp oil. Um, it's a very fishy forward pad thai. Hi there at the right time. Yeah, that was great timing. Did you get all the things out of your teeth? Because you've yeah. been spending two minutes. Okay, so here's the thing. I never want to not be honest. I enjoyed that. Was it the best pad thai I've ever had? I don't know. But also, pad thai isn't my favorite Thai dish. Love Thai food. Enjoy pad thai. Is it my favorite? No. Was this my favorite ever? Sure. And if you want to see more of our videos here in Thailand, subscribe, follow along.